Hi everyone, it's Tim. I'm allowed outside. Hi, whoa, this is crazy. Woo, party outside, just with me, no one else, social distance. I'm gonna be taking you through this project, Ancient Sports Academy, awesome project where we learn about a really old sport, an ancient sport, hence Ancient Sport Academy. All makes sense, you see, clever clevers. So together we're going to learn about an ancient sport and then we are going to write a script about how to play it so you can teach other people online. And then we're gonna use that writing to make a video, a short instructional video how to play it so your idea can spread further and further. Well, first up in lesson one of Ancient Sports Academy, we've got special guests, Young and Old Wimpole. Take it away, you two. Hi everyone, I'm Young Wimpole, a crazy inventor. And you're here to help me undertake a new project. What's all this nattering about and what's all this mess you're making? And who are you pretending to talk to? There's clearly no one there. And this is Old Wimpole. The less said about him, the better. I'm just making a video for this wonderful bunch to help me go back in time. Well, no, we're not going back in time again. That's a terrible idea. Well, you just stay here then. No, I will come. I need some milk. Time to push the time vortex initiator. We live in a shiny world full of wisdom and knowledge where facts and figures can be brought up at will to figure out how to do anything you want. But we're heading to long, long ago, deep into the past, where the internet doesn't exist. We need your help to create a set of instructions from an ancient culture. Using your research and knowledge, you'll then present your instructions in a video. So, you're going to be learning all about an ancient sport. Your instructions will allow the people from our timeline to learn the rules and play it too. Awesome! We're here! Well, I'm bored already and I'm tired. And I need the loo, so you guys better just go. No, 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 not in my time machine! When well, you've gotta go, you've gotta go! And in today's lesson, you're going to be researching and recording your info of an ancient sport. What kind of ancient sports do you know? What kind of cultures do you like? Are you into Egyptian culture or Roman culture or Greek culture? We're going to be basing our ideas on a Mayan sport called Pokotok, which you'll find out more about as we go through this project. But if you've got a book on the culture that you like, or you know a website that you can go to so you can find out more information about that sport, then do. Otherwise, you can check out some of the links below that have some ancient sports that you can find out more about. So your first mini challenge to get you getting ready to write instructions across this project is to give clear instructions about one of these tasks. So you can choose one of these or even create your own if you think it's going to be um, a good one. Maybe you could write instructions on how to build a house. It doesn't have to be a real house. It could be a Lego house, of course. You could do something totally bizarre like how to make your own pencil. I have no idea how I'd even start to make a pencil. And finally, the last one, how to train your dragon, uh, how to train for a marathon. What would you have to do to your body in order to get it ready to run a huge distance? What are the instructions that you'd write for that? So your first task today is to have a go at writing instructions for one of these activities.
So then what we'd like you to do next is choose the ancient sport that we want you to have a go at writing instructions for in this project. Is it going to be a sport that no one's heard about? That would be really fun because it's like you're bringing it back to life. Or maybe you'll look at a modern sport and think about how that was played in the past, like how was football played 100 years ago? And then after that, it's simple. We'd like you to write out the information that you found about your sport. So you're ready to write instructions about it in the rest of the project. So the different rows of this sheet say, what's the sport called? What's the name of the sport? Who played it and when did they play it? So what time did they play it? Was it in a specific civilization or era in history? What is needed? So what kind of equipment do you need? So you might need to make a short list. You can bullet point that, that might be quite easy. How is the game played? So you can copy sentences out or keywords from that. Again, this is about note taking. It's not about making sure it's, it's perfect instruction writing. You want just the key information here. What is the aim of the game? Is it to survive, hopefully? And finally, are there any tips or extra information? Maybe you want to think about something that you could write in there yourself. It doesn't even, it can just be some of your ideas rather than what you found in your research. And just so you know what we're making today, check out this example of a game of Pocketock. Did you know there was once a game that thousands of people play constantly? Want to play it? Now you can. Pocket Top, a game that has been around for years. But it has a dark hidden truth to it. Here is a guide to play Pocket Top and hopefully you won't get killed. So all I can say is enjoy and goodbye. What you need to play Pocket Top? A hard solid rubber ball made out of pigskin. Protective padding on your forearm and shin. It can also be around your waist. A narrow stone hoop on the wall. Stone man and plus hand stones to help hit the ball better. Firstly, put on your protective padding and place it on your elbow and kneecap, which you think you will use the most. Secondly, you may or may not put your headdress on to represent your city. Firmly place a stone or a hoop in the air. You may place it in a good enough height, or like the ancient times, place it one. Go. Then walk onto the field and get in the position you would like to start in. Next, throw the ball into the air and let two people from each team try to batter to your teammates. But you can Lastly, try to score it into the stone hoop to win. If you lose, you die. Uh oh. Now, do you want to play Pocket Top? Thanks so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed that. We have loads of content going on, like our quick fire write videos. Don't forget to check those out. They're excellent, great for building up argument writing and on loads of different topics. Too many, I can't even hold on my arms. See, I'm trying. But also we share tons of cool content made by you guys as well. So please also send in your work. We might be mashing it together to make a big celebration of what you do. I'll see you next time. Let's jump out.